So the mechanical systems in the B building are pretty much complete. Uh, we're in the process of getting ready to start installing the drywall um, in that area. The exterior brick is ongoing. Uh, exterior sheathing is ongoing. And as you see, there's temporary windows in uh, that rain screen wall. And once all the brick is installed, then that plywood will come out and the glass will be put in place after they wash down the brick. And here we're at the wing of the building that's facing closest to the pond. You can see that all of the red brick is on, is, has been installed. Uh, they're getting ready to wash it down and then they'll take all of that plywood down and put the windows back in. As part of the COVID protocol, you see that each of the contractors has their own break room so that they can have lunch. But again, we're trying to keep the groups together and localized. And these are classrooms that you're looking at on both sides. And again, it appears dark in here, but all of that brown that you see, those are all windows. So this is that, the, the central um, like knuckle area of the building, and this stays open to the lawn. It's, it's a contemporary school building, but very, very flexible. Uh, spaces can be moved, in, not, not the walls, of course, but the way that the spaces are can be moved and uh, adjusted to accommodate the needs of the student population as well as differences in teaching and learning that will be moved for will move forward that we haven't even thought of yet every space has natural light that comes into it and it's either direct natural light with the windows like you see here or the skylights or indirect what i mean by the indirect is there'll be a glass panel here and glass walls that will allow the light to come from the outside through the space and into the intersection of the building so that's the mezzanine level of the auditorium. This is um, the upper level where the lighting crew and sound crew will be. Um, and then you're looking down at the stage and that's the lower level of the auditorium that doesn't have the paving, the concrete in it yet. And what did they have to do to like prepare for the future possible orchestra pit? What did they so do? what you see there that's formed where the, where the wood is and the steel, mm -hmm that's the future orchestra pit. So the pit has been dug. Even though we don't know if we're gonna do it Correct. as part of this project. Because you could not do it after the fact. Right. So this way, that is in, the concrete is in, and it can get a floor, a fake floor put over it, or the uh, safety wall built, and that space could actually be used. That's the stage down there. In floor radiant heating, so that hasn't been poured yet. It's, it's a step slab there. Okay, so why do they have radiant heating there? What is that? Because the space is so large. So you heat the floor and the heat, <coughs> excuse me, then comes up um, and stays at about the human level. So the, the heat will rise to about the eight foot level. So you'll feel it where you're standing, but you don't need to heat this whole space. So it's a very efficient way to heat large space pretty much finished out. It's ready for uh, the, boot, the, the wall board and then eventually the ceiling. HVAC systems are all in, tested, wrapped with insulation, fire protection lines are in, uh, plumbing, electrical is all in. So this space is getting ready for the wall board, which will be the next next steps. Look at that. <laughs> So that is the pool. That is the pool. That is the existing pool. It never came out. They're putting new drains in it. And they have uh, water blasted the walls to accept the new finish. How is this going to look when it's finished? So this will be all concrete floor. Uh, this 
front of the cafeteria space that you're looking at. Um, just to give you an idea. Those are all electrical and communication duct banks. So this whole space with all those pillars is the cafeteria. It's a big calf. 